So it's Friday. You guys probably won't see this on Friday. Maybe, but probably not. Uh, I, I just don't like hammering you guys with like update after update after update. But there's a lot going on in the shop, so we'll just show you a couple pieces over here, and then I'm going to show you what's um, getting ready to ship out this morning. Actually, all of these are getting shipped out, but I've got some stuff over on the um, finishing or the spray bench. Let's get ready to get packaged. This is that 2019 commemorative edition um, Patriot. And I may have shown this to you in a late March. Um, but these are, I just got a new shipment of 2.5s in. So these guys are getting cranked out as fast as I can crank them with my other existing orders. Just super cool. Love this little Patriot. And this is the 2019 edition. It'll be around until about April 30th, and then I'll do a different Patriot around the 4th of July, and then one again um, on Veterans Day. So that's that's my deal with different Patriots every year. You can purchase it on the website. It's under the original Patriot, which is, I think, on the first square bill. But it's what, what you'll end up getting is whatever edition I'm making currently. And it's small batch, so you guys can see this is... Um, 27 out of 50. I think these are all, there's 31 out of 50. So I only do 50, there's 50 states. Um, Ta-da, so that's what that is. What else do we have here? Oh, these are pretty cool. This is the Grim Reaper. And this is a custom request and a pop -ar. And we've got the Copper Crawl on a holographic. You can see that shimmer and a Rapala that I painted up for myself. I'm gonna throw this, I like it. Just a little bit lighter of a version of it. And then a crappie, did a black crappie. And these are some other pieces. And now, oh, smelts, got some smelts. This is the Northern Smelt. This is for one of my clients, it'll be going out tomorrow. And I think the rest of this is over here. So we have got, these are pretty cool, the holographic bream. And apologies that these are already in the box, but I have been slicing and dicing today, getting stuff out as fast as I can. My carrier is going to be here in about 15 minutes, so we're going to cut this a little bit shorter than normal. Crappie. And then in a finesse lipless. This is the quarter ounce. Also a crappie. That holographic is pretty popping on that one. This is a hot sticks crawl. I haven't done one of these in a while. Just a little bit of yellow fading into an orange and red. Those bug eyes on the front of them. I love those. Really makes it a unique kind of a bait on the 1.5. Over here we have another Patriot. I'm getting ready to send all those out. I've got a bunch more to do. And then last, but certainly not least, for Mr. Novick. Bring this into this light so you guys can see it. This is a yellow perch on a Johnston Lore perch pattern. This is a perch blank. They do this in the toothache. And that is all the news that's fit to print on a, fri on a Friday. Um, I know I'm hurried, but uh, I really am kind of under the gun to get a bunch of stuff out this morning. And then a very long spray day ahead of me. So you guys have a good one. We got the spray session coming out this weekend as well, which is probably going to drop before this update. And I will see you guys on the... Oh, yeah, there's fish and stuff too. That's probably coming Friday night, tonight. Maybe Saturday morning. I don't know. I'm kind of scattered this morning. I know. More coffee. See ya. When you're painting the red ones, 
you want to remember that on a brown trout, there's a lot more black than there is red. So once you have your stencil all set, you want to make as random of a presentation. And I'm usually, I'm doing like 10 or 11 red splotches inside of the, uh, the circles per side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll do one more right here. And the rest of those are going to be black. One more quick tip. One thing that I've noticed over the years is that when I'm doing brown trout patterns, the black, even if I'm using opaque black um, airbrush paint, it's a little thin because unless you have a completely plain surface like you'd find on a Strike King that has absolutely no uh, pressings that imitate scales like this one does, unless you have something like that, black is going to have a tendency to leak into these crevices that are molded to represent the scales. So what I'll do is I'll take some ordinary, um, you can get it at Walmart, folk art is fine. Anything that's water-based acrylic color is not going to go crazy with your clear coat when you get the clear coat on. So just take some thick, and this stuff is super thick, and mix it in with your basic black. And that way, when you do add in your black on the patterns for your brown trout, it's going to be thick enough to where it's not going to leak into those crevices. Just a little quick tip.